Once again, welcome to ITSC 1345. This is competency one. Uh, and it has to do with class orientation. Um, one of the difficulties in doing distant learning is that you really don't have the resources that you have on campus. So one of the things we struggle with is to help a student establish the resources that they need to succeed in this class. Uh, so throughout the semester we'll be dealing with two databases to support the idea of PLSQL. There is a database called BrewBeans that is very very well defined uh, and we're going to use this BrewBase, BrewBean database to support the textbook information. So you know, throughout the textbook, they'll give examples, and then at the back of the uh, chapter, they'll have some reviews, and then there'll be a database that'll support this whole process. Now, the BrewBean database uh, has the ability where, as you do the problems, I will present the solutions to you after you submit uh, your your work. So you, you you'll 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 do the work, submit the work, and then I'll give you the the solutions. And then you can go back and you know do a second submittal uh, with the process intact. That is how we're going to learn how to do PLSQL. Second to that is the uh, orders database. Now the orders database is where you are actually going to do the lab work. So we'll have the brew being database that is totally text supported, a textbook supported, and then we're going to have on the other hand the lab portion where you will use what you learn from the textbook to reconstruct the database uh, that will support the lab work. Now because of that, uh, if you're going to do this at home, you will need once again to build a database. Now if this is the second class and you took 2309 and then you're going to follow it up with 1345, you already have a lot of the tools in place to support this class. So all you'll do is uh, create a secondary database. Uh, the BrewBean and then the uh, database for the lab, but you already have the bases, you already have the SQL, you have developer. Now if you're new to this class and you haven't really built the database, you'll have to download the 11G uh, Express from uh, Oracle, which is free. You'll also get the SQL developer free, uh, and those are 32-bit uh, 32 ba 32 bit based products. Now you can do the 64-bit product but those uh, are not really as user friendly, but they do work. So if you have a 64-bit machine, you'll be able to download the standard Oracle product with uh, the supporting SQL developer to conduct this class. Now, uh, that said, uh, what I need for you guys to understand is that as we progress through this class, there will be assessments. So there will be assessments, there will be reviews, there will be assessments to familiarize yourself with the material. And then we're going to have a little practice test. Now, um, in the classroom, uh, there is a lot of work that you can do that I can interact with the students that really makes the class progress, especially when a student has problems, they can always ask a question, so those always interaction. When you're looking, when you're working from home, that interaction is lacking. So what we try to do to compensate for that is have some uh, assessments or practices at the end of every chapter that will, that will contribute to the class participation process. Now, so uh, during the orientation, we're talking about uh, building the database at home. Uh, and if you look on, on the Blackboard website, it'll have all the instructions to do that. If you did the 2309, this will be a breeze to do the 1345 to establish the baseline that you're going to work with. Now, uh, what we've also tried to do with this process is establish a way to kind of shortcut your way through this whole class. So this is the orientation process. Now, as we begin into competency two, when you begin into competency two, what you can do is, if you feel that you are strong enough to bypass competency two, we will provide a very uh, well extensive assessment that is not quite really a placement, but yeah, if you do well, you can go to competency three. 
So what we're doing is, uh, if you feel you're strong enough in a certain area, you can effectively test out of it. So we've established this. So what you do is, you, you look at the material. If you feel you are strong enough, you'll take that comp competency. Now, understanding that competency two has chapter one, two, and three. So that means that that, that place out mechanism is designed to cover chapters one, two, and three. Uh, if you do not do well, then you go to the regular chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. And this whole semester will be based that way in that when you get to competency three, uh, you'll have chapter five, or four, five, and six. And then at that point, what you'll do is, if you feel strong enough, you can place out of that and progress. If not, then you go through the whole chapter progress. But at the end of the, every chapter, we will have some extensive review process some extensive uh, practice assessment. Now, the information at the back of the chapters is called hands-on. So in order to keep with the labeling that the textbook uses, uh, there are hands-on events that you'll be doing in Blackboard. So the process continues with orientation and then into competency so, two. Now, and this probably in competency one, so this basically kind of comes together and closes competency one.